Hi, my name is Katie Skilton and I'm a creative designer at Sizzix. Today I'm going to share with you some Christmas cards that are a little bit different. These are really good for all your dog loving friends at Christmas. So basically we're replacing a reindeer with a dog. Um, so what we're going to start to do is we're going to use an ink background. So I've got three different colour inks here. So this is Tumbled Glass, Blueprint Sketch and Dusty Concord. So we're going to start with the Blueprint Sketch and I'm likely going to go around the edge of the card, mainly at the top, because this is where I want the darker colour to be. So you can see it's just starting to build up that colour. And then we're going to take some of the tumbled glass and we're going to blend that in to the bottom. And don't worry if it looks a bit kind of blotchy at the moment, because what we're going to do in a minute, we're going to spray it with water and it gives it a snowy effect. Just keep blending these in here. Lots of ink. What you will find, sometimes I find it comes off, my fingerprints keep coming off, so I have to keep covering them up. So then finally, I'm just gonna add a little bit of Dusty Concord, and it gives it that kind of pinkish sky that you get when it's snowing, wintry sky. Just adding that to the top kind of corners here. We'll just blend that in again with the other two colours. Then to give it that snow effect, we're just literally, actually, let me just um, move the inks out of the way before we spritz those. We're just going to lightly spritz it with water and you'll see as you roll your tissue paper over it, it takes some of the colour away so it gives it that snowy effect. So I'm just going to quickly just blast that quickly the heat gun to just make sure it's dry before I'm done cut it. So you'll, obviously you'll get a different effect every time because the water's not going to lay in the same place. Take our big shot and we're going to cut the stars kind of across the top there. So I'll die press it and you'll be able to see what I've done. need to do like fine because I've timed up what I've done and actually it's a really good example to show you this I'm just gonna line it back up I've gone in that way obviously the machine needs to cut all of that bit and really I should have gone in this way because the machine works much better if you're cutting the shorter angle so we'll just go back in with that and I'll show you what I mean This is now cut all of these stars out. I'm just going to use my die pick to remove them all. It's quite difficult to see on this inky background because um, they all blend in. So while we've got the die cut machine, I'm just going to cut our little dash hound here. I'm going to cut him. He's going to be almost like a silhouette. So I'm cutting him from the really dark um, cardstock in the Sizzix um, assorted cardstock sheets. He's really cute. He's so cute. There he is. Is that on there? So if we can move the machine out of the way from there. And we're going to take our main panel again. So this goes this way up. First of all, I've used watercolour card by the way for this. I'm going to do some more watercoloured card on the bottom as snow. And I'm literally going to tear it and cut it. And then I'm going to add another layer. So I'm going to tear that layer and cut it. We're going to stick these two down onto here like so. So we'll glue the first layer, the biggest layer first. And there, make sure it's lined up. And then the second layer here. There we go. 
but that's going to be our snow. So while that's drying, I am just going to add a little bit of sparkle to that. So I've got a sparkle pen here. I'm just going to add some sparkle. Give it a really snowy effect. There we go. Really going to dry for a second. Pop that down there. So we've got our dash hand here now. So we're going to glue him into the snow to make it look like he's walking in the snow. And we'll pop that on like so. There we go. So I'm going to matte and layer this so I want the stars to come through, the, um, the grey to come through the stars. So obviously normally you would let this dry a bit first before you start messing around with it and going on to the next stage. touch it with my inky hand and then I've got a little sentiment so again I've typed this one from my computer I'm just going to mark it so I know exactly where I want it to go okay. just give it a little mark there and I can snip this with my scissors Snow. So again, this has been printed on watercolour cardstock just to keep it all in keeping. And then we're going to mount this onto a white card blank. Like so. There we go. So again, here we have some that I've made earlier because I can pick these up while that one's drying. So I've done this with a couple of the different country canines. So we've got the Dashan there with this quirky little sentiment. And we've got the golden retriever there with his sentiment. Obviously there's four dogs in this die set. You can actually use all four, you know, you can make lots of different cards. Really good little gift cards, great for dog lovers at Christmas. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. If you've got any questions, as always, please get in touch. And hopefully I shall see you again next week.